Hello everyone who might be watching this video. I am making this video in response to a video that Coolio3000, which I hope I'm saying that right, made saying that he was having troubles trying to get Pinnacle Studio 16 Ultimate downloaded onto his computer, which he was running Windows 8.1. Now, I was running the same exact thing that he was running, and, you know, it's the same software, same Windows, everything like that, and I had the same problems that he did. Now, whenever I say I had the same problems, like, I went on every single forum that I could ever find, and I found a bunch of different things. Usually what they did is they just said to download a patch, and there's Pinnacle Studios 16.1 patch that they made, and then a Pinnacle's patch for... Windows 8.1. Now, neither one of these have worked for me. Both of them kind of just gave me the same thing. Whenever I downloaded Pinnacle Studios 16.1, it gave me the same exact error message as if I did nothing. And with the patch, it went to it would go to run the program, but then it would just stop for whatever reason, and I do not know why it would do that. However, I think I have found the fix for it. Uh, I'm trying to do everything exactly the same way that I did before to try to recreate this so that way you might be able to see what I did to fix it. Now, I did read this on another forum and I will leave that in the description below so that way you can read that in case my abilities to explain all of this just doesn't cut it for cut it for whatever reason. I'm not exactly the best teacher in the world. However, I will do my best to try to get this done. Now, the first thing you want to do is you want to delete Pinnacle Studios. And when I say delete it, I mean delete everything. Uh, the best thing that I can tell you to do is to go to your uninstall programs in your control panel and basically delete everything that has Coral Corporation, Red Giant, and Pinnacle Systems on it. And if you have Ultimate, that's quite a few things because what I'm telling you to do is basically Delete Pinnacle Studio 16 and all the bonus content that comes with it because this will get rid of any patches that you've already downloaded before and it will make sure that you get rid of them. But you will uninstall it, which I've already done, and then you will go ahead and you will install it again. Yes. And hopefully this works. I can edit this out to where this is not such a long video because this does take quite a while to do all of this. Okay, I don't... Well, you might do custom, but I just do standard because I'm going to go ahead and install everything. Yes. Okay, and then go ahead and run the installation as usual. Let everything run how it's supposed to run. Uh, don't try to open it up after you've installed everything. Now, the error message, at least with me, it will pop back up while it's downloading all the bonus programs, but just leave it. That's not opening up, but just saying that for whatever reason, it failed. All right, looks like we finally got everything done here. Um, okay, now that everything is finally done, being installed, don't click on Pinnacle Studio yet. Just go ahead and be done with that right there. And with Windows 8, what you want to do is you want to go up to this, this right-hand corner over here, the upper right-hand corner, and then get to the search. And let's go to search. You're going to want to put in... R-E-G-E-D-I-T. And that's going to take you to RegEdit, which basically is a shortened version of the registry editor. And whenever you go there, you're going to have these little things right here, here for all your H keys. And you're going to want to go to H key local machine. Okay? And then after that, you're going to want to go down to software. And then, um, well, this is where I 
ended up having problems because what it told me to go to is to go to WoW6432 node, which he might have meant WoW6432 node. I'm not 100% sure on that because I did find a WoW6432 node, and that's to... Uh, it basically has to do with it being either a 32-bit system or a 64-bit system. I think what he meant is because... Um, for Pinnacle Studios, they recommend you run on a, on a 64-bit system. However, I have to be running on a 32-bit system. This still will work on a 32-bit system. Uh, I don't have the WoW 64.3 node, or WoW 64.3.2 node, but that didn't matter. What you want to go to is you want to go to Avid. And then once you go to Avid, you want to go to Studio 2. And then you're going to want to click on that, and what you're hoping to have is a version NT and if you and since I did this before already it's already here but whenever I did this before I did not have a version NT uh, I'll just go ahead and I'll delete this just to show you yes okay this is what it looked like whenever I did this okay and so what you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna wanna click and then you're going to want to get, get a new, you're going to go to new, since new is the only one to do, and then you're going to want to do string value. Sorry, I'm actually, this is all on notes for me right now that I wrote down to make sure, so I'm reading these, making sure I'm doing this right. Uh, once you get the new string value, you're going to want to name it version and T. Alright? And probably like that, capital V, capital N T. Now that you have that there, you're going to want to right click it, and you're going to want to modify. And under that, where the value data is, that's where you're going to want to click 602. Okay? Now, now that's under there now. This is something that you're supposed to have in the registry editor. I think this is the main problem that they were having for Windows 8.1. Um, I'm not sure where they messed up on there, but this it worked for me. Uh, they're saying that there are some versions that will have the version NT. However, instead of 602 right there, it's going to be 603. You're just going to want to change that over to 603 if you have version NT. Uh, if you don't have it, like I said, you're just going to have to create a new version NT and do everything that you just saw me do right there. Okay, and then after you're done doing that, go ahead and exit out of everything, and then you're just going to want to reset your computer afterwards okay and then this is going to be two part vi video for that re reason hopefully if everything works the way it's supposed to work i can edit it all back together okay and we are back as you can see i do have a different background now but and there see it change again i do have it set to change every couple of minutes uh I get bored with my backgrounds pretty easy anyways that's not the point the point is is that okay you've restarted your computer now and now what you want to do is you want to go and you want to down or download which excuse me I already have the Pinnacle Studios patch 6.1 you don't like don't download the patch for Windows 8.1 uh, I, I guess you could I haven't found any use for it uh, I'm not just, I'm not gonna touch it I just put it up here for an example but you want to get the Pinnacle Studios 16.1 patch and you're gonna want to download and install that and I guess what that really does is that just kind of ties everything together so that way everything works the way that it's supposed to. And once again, this might take a little while. Okay, the update is now finished, and hopefully this works. All right, that's a good sign. Uh, I've had two things happen. I've had the error message pop up, and I've had it to where it will just go straight to Pinnacle Studio, and as soon as that pops up, it'll just stop. But as you can see, now it is working. Um, I'm not sure if everybody has had this problem, but the people who have had this problem for Windows 8.1, this is, this, or at least this should be the way that you can fix 
pinnacle 16 for Windows 8.1. Um, if anything, go ahead and leave something in the comment section. Uh, once again, I will leave the link to the form where I found out this information in the in the description below. Uh, let me know if this worked for you guys or not. This is what worked for me. It doesn't mean that's going to work for everybody else, but you know, uh, hopefully this works for whoever happens to be watching this. And have a great day. Bye.